Hi, Star is here. It's been a while. Um, I'm sorry I have not really been posting any content. Uh, it, COVID got in the way, work got in the way, uh, family matters came up, and really I, I really, I, my channel just basically went dormant. Um, I tried to revive it once or twice, but I really can't sustain it. Um, anyway, I started this channel uh, originally as a way to reach out to NSFW members. Um, in the 195, it's an alliance on the 195 uh, server. Uh, it was a way for me to share tips uh, and share my views on, on things like new ships and new mechanics, uh, which I have done. And I think at some point it, it got a uh, certain momentum and the guys were asking me uh, to just make available my videos uh, to a broader uh, public, which, which you can now see in the playlist of, of, of past videos. Um, yeah. I'm here today not to talk about my channel, uh, and I I really want to say a few words about Star Trek Fleet Command. Um, I'm not happy with the way it's progressed. Uh, Revdu's latest video, which I will link below, uh, really sums up my sentiments. Um, Scott Lee has an ever-growing amount of Star Trek material that it can base uh, its work on, uh, but by golly, he has basically used the same formula uh, introducing new uh, currencies, uh, new officers that require packs to, to for you to get at the onset. Otherwise, you have to wait months to grind them. Um, heaven forbid they might introduce a new ship and they will just repeat the same thing they did with the Cheritos and, uh, and basically drag uh, everybody. I mean, basically you have to just grind the, uh, for the ship over a period of say six months or so or even a year uh, or spend an obscene amount of money in terms of packs. Uh, so a game has gotten boring for me. What's left? Uh, I mean, it's it doesn't seem to be anything new or innovative. Um, it's I, I mean, it's come a long way. It's released a PC version, uh, but hey, you know, one of the biggest advantages of Star Trek Fleet Command is the fact that it is um, a mobile phone game. Uh, so you know, I wish they spend less resources in developing the PC version and focus on the mobile version, which. The majority of Star Trek Fleet Command players are playing, and yeah, and just get rid of all the bugs. I mean, the last arc was terrible. Uh, alliances, alliance names got got messed up. I mean, databases got corrupted. Uh, there was a, a a bug where link links didn't work for a period of time. Uh, so come on, Scobie. I mean, we we don't pay you peanuts, you know. I mean, I. The amount of packs that all the whales buy and everyone else buys is is crazy. I'm sure you have a steady revenue stream. I'm sure you have costs to. Uh, I'm sure you it meet more than meets your cost. So please don't be greedy. Anyway, there's another bigger issue here, and that is the grind. Um, just take a look. I mean, STFC introduced G5 ships uh, last year, and and um, uh, just take a look at how much it costs to upgrade these ships you know I'm at tier 5 um, my my main pulse laser energy weapon required 23,000 G5 UC to among others uh, and there's also 3,000 UC or G5 UC or there's also uh, explorer parts I've got I seem to have a lot but that's because I buy packs for those of you who do not buy packs or do not buy that many packs it's gonna take ages for you to get there uh, let me just bring up another issue Take a look at uh, the amounts required to upgrade some of the, the ship, uh, some of the uh, buildings in your base now. Um, the to bring a ship back from level fifty-five to fifty-six, uh, they are asking for forty thousand G five UC crystal and ten thousand G five UC uh, G five rare gas, uh, crystal as well. Two point seven million trit tritanium and eight point uh, sorry two point four two point seven million pass steel and eight point four billion um uh tritanium um these are amounts that take people ages to grind for if you are free to play um you look at the refineries they've at the way they've been operating i'm sorry i just refined not, not long back but uh even at the at the max uh which is 300 per 300 000, no 900 000, uh raw ore uh per pool I typically only get about between 30 to say 80 um, G5 UC materials coming out of each pool, of, of such pools. Um, to, for me to generate 
40,000 required to upgrade one building component or one ship component will take me months uh, to say the very least you've got to be really patient to play this game I mean to, to really uh, 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 put up with this uh, I have many things to do in my life uh, work for one but many other things uh, I really don't have time to really you know and patience to wait for this uh, to grind my way through uh, sure, I mean, it's a choice I made and you have a choice not to spend too and I respect that. I, in fact, I have a lot of respect for people who are playing this game on a free-to-play basis simply because it takes so long to get anywhere or to, to do anything in this game. It's just crazy. Um, the only option? Buy more packs. Um, it, it, but Scopely doesn't help. They introduce a new research tree uh, that requires a new currency. I mean, they are so fond of it. I mean, I, like Rev, have lost count on the number of currencies that we have. Uh, so take a look at the new currencies. I mean, they start off pretty decently, but uh, if you go to uh, sdfc.org, you'll find that, you know, the, the amount of uh, rhodium that you need scales drastically. And and uh, uh, you would, you, I, I think Rev did a man, uh, sort of a back of an envelope calculation. It, it will take a whale who gets a hundred of these materials per day as part of his dailies about a year before he can, you know, clear the note. Ten years before he can clear the note. Um, I think Scopely heard us, and that's the reason why they introduced yesterday, if I'm not wrong, uh, a series of ga Galaxy Research Packs, uh, one to seven. I had access to seven. I, I think people like uh, Kalamin and uh, Inditin maybe got access to a, a Research Pack 8. I do not know, but Research 7, uh, Pack seven gave me about uh, ten to twenty thousand G five QC materials each. Um, you take a look at what the pack six gives you, and it's only about three to five thousand. So, um, I believe uh, those of you who are not yet fifty two will not see anything beyond a pack six. Uh, so, uh, come on, slowly. It's going to take players ages to get the stuff that they need to upgrade the, the bases and the ships that they fly. It's time to move on. I, I, uh, so moving ahead, I, I'm making this open to my Alliance members and I guess for the rest of the server as well. Uh, I'm going to chill from this game. I'm going to take a step back. I'll still be around. I'll, I'll spend as much time um, uh, as, it re as I need just to clear my dailies. Uh, but aside from that, I'll really dial back on the spending. I'll drop off of, out of the top, uh, uh, top 10 list pretty soon, I guess. Um, but seriously, there are better ways to spend my money. And I will share uh, in my next video on how you can actually spend far less and get a lot more. So anyway, this is Starus um, signing out for now. Uh, it's not goodbye. Uh, as I, I want to stress, I'll still be around in SDFC. I'm around in SDFC because of my alliance mates, the friends I've made in, in, in uh, at this server, not just in NSFW, but also in the other alliances. Um, I'll be there for you guys, uh, but I definitely will not be as active as I have been. All right. Anyway, this is Starus, and I uh, signing out for the for now. I'll see you guys out there.